Hey, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today we are thanking a YouTube listener, his name is David K, who asked me a really good question, and I thought this would be a great idea for the next article. And that has to do with uh, packet slicing, and his question was simply, how do you figure out where to slice the packet, right? Because I talk about slicing packets instead of the whole packet, you know, get a portion of it. So how do you figure that out? So let's get right to it. I'm going to, um, I'll do two examples for you just to kind of drive the point home. We are going to, uh, first one is going to be finding an HTTP GET packet and then figuring out where to slice it so we get up to the word GET, for example. All right. So the first thing, we need a calculator here. And within Windows, if you just go to your calculator, you go to View and use the Programmer mode. And that will have hex and decimal, that sort of thing. All right. So let's move this guy aside for just a moment. In Wireshark, we're just going to simply start a capture. I'm using a Wi-Fi interface. Click, click. I'm capturing packets. Go to a web page like mine. And I'm just clicking around because I want to capture some packets, right? And hit refresh a few times. There, have got lots of stuff now. Hit stop. From here, we want to find the get packets, right? So if I just do an HTTP filter at the top, you'll see a bunch of HTTP packets. And there's a get packet right there. And I want to figure out where get is, where get is in the actual packet. So within my detail view, I can go all the way down to hypertext transfer protocol within that, open it up, you'll see a get and the full URL. Within that, I want get within this request method. And you'll see when I click on it, this highlighted 474554. Let me move off that again. And you'll see, see that? So get, g, e, T, right? So if I want to capture all the way up to this T, then I want to slice here. So from here, I want to keep all the rest of this. So how do you figure that out? Well, this is hexadecimal three zero. That's the whole line. So three zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So that's seven right there, eight, and that would be nine. So 9 would be this 2, 0 guy. Because again, G-E-T, right? G-E-T, G-E-T. So up to here. So again, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right, I want to keep all that. So 9. So I want to slice on the ninth byte. So 3, 9 is the value. It's hexadecimal. So we come to our calculator. And we type 3, 9. Make sure it's on hexadecimal, press DES, and you got 57. Some protocol analyzers will actually tell you that. They'll say offset 57 as you uh, highlight it, all right? So we're assuming the worst case scenario, okay? So in Wireshark, this is the way we do it. So we need decimal 57. Now it's pretty simple. We go back to Capture Options or Control K. And on Wi Fi, I'm going to double click on my Snap Len 57. And I'm going to hit Start. I'm going to go back to my page. I'm going to click around here. I'm going to hit refresh a few times, right? And I'm going to stop my capture. So now, if you take a look, you can see there's GET, and I've cut all the way up to that 54. See that T right there? So this is incredibly important to understand, right? Because every network topology uh, may have a different offset. So don't assume that I've done it on Wi-Fi now and it's going to work on every network everywhere all the time. No, 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 no. You have to double check and figure the value out before you do that. Okay. So let's do another one real quick. We'll do another one. Uh, let's do Ethernet and we want to chop everything up off until the source MAC address. Again, I highlight source and you can see below here they all highlighted, right? So we want to get it up to the 0, 8. So again, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and A because it's hexadecimal, right? B, C, and D. So we want to get all the way up to D. Again, for the people who need the calculator, let's go to hex. We'll do D and decimal, and that's 13. For the people who happen to know that, great. So now we're going to slice at 13. So we're going to do a brand new capture, 13. We're going to hit start. I'm going to clear my display filter. I'm going to hit stop because there's always stuff coming out of my machine, right? And you can see right there, we've got our frame header 
and it says packet size limited, Ethernet truncated, right? So it's kind of important to understand that you know within this part right here, let me just move down a little bit, this header, this thing right here, this top part, this is not within the actual frame. This is just a Wireshark bunch of notes, if you will, right? Your stuff is over here. And because we've truncated it, we've actually given Wireshark not enough information to figure out what it's doing. But you can see here clearly source and destination, and it worked just fine. All right. So I hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.